Okay, welcome back to my let's play of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous on the PC. So, we're continuing through the demonic city of Lushanira. And I think we're going to get down to the nitty gritty of some quests here. Uh, let's go to the tavern. So I took the liberty of respecting Taco B again. And he actually charged me like 10,000 bucks this time to do it as a donation. If you did. Um, but I respect her pretty much just to swap evocation for enchantment. And I was very surprised how many enchantment spells I took. Uh, and perhaps I went overboard. It's very possible I went overboard. And I fucked up by taking, uh, I took selective spell for meta magic. And not only that, I took like, oh, maybe I didn't. Or maybe I did. I did. I took favorite meta magic selective. So I really went ham on selective. And I wasn't even thinking. This is how dumb I am. <clears throat> selective meta magic is only good for instantaneous effects that hit all creatures, right? Do you know how many of those I have now? Do you have any idea how many of those I have? I have like one. I have color spray. That's it. <laughs> um, because everything else has a duration. And I thought, I must have thought, like, okay, like, I have stuff like confusion, okay? And confusion is a 15-foot burst, all creatures. Uh, and I just thought, oh, okay, I'll make that selective. That's great. But no, because it has a duration. Of course it does. All the enchantment stuff has a duration. Otherwise, it would be shit. Um, so all of that stuff is simply covered by my Aeon ability of protecting my allies from non-instant area effects. Um, which, I mean, this ability is awesome and fucking insane. But yeah, I really wasted, like, a feat and a mythic ability on nothing. So I'm probably gonna have to respec again. And, I don't know, the respec, I might... <sighs> Um, I might drop some enchantment stuff and go a little bit more into evocation and uh, grab the um, expanded arsenal for evocation as well so that I can just copy all my feats that I got for that over to evocation so I can be good at three different schools um, just primarily because Sirocco is evocation, magic missiles evocation, ear piercing scream evocation there's a few things that I'd like to have and probably some cooler things at high level but enchantment has some pretty awesome stuff like here this is the, my level 7 spell now I replaced uh, greater elemental Waves of ecstasy, all creatures in a 30-foot cone. Um, you emanate waves of intense pleasure that cause all targets within range to falter. Affected creatures are stunned for one round and are staggered for the remainder of the spell. So that's 15 rounds of stagger if they fail the save. Even if they make the save, though, they're still staggered for the first round. So just guaranteed stagger, assuming they can be staggered, is pretty nice. Uh, constricting coils. This is on one creature, but um, it paralyzes them, and they take 1d6 plus 6 points of bludgeoning damage each round. Um, and it's got a very high DC, so... I actually went and I took Social to that guy in the flesh market with the mask 
and he's like, yeah, I sold your brother to the the gladiator, the arena. And then I was like, okay. And then I killed him. And I'll, I just cast Constricting Coils on him. He failed his save, and we just beat the shit out of him. And it was pretty good. Dominate Person. That's got some potential as well. Um, overwhelming Grief. I uh, figure for boss enemies sort of things, if they can be hit with this. Um... They take no actions, they take a minus two penalty to AC, and they lose their dex bonus. It's all pretty good. Uh, confusion, again, normally this would be a little tricky, but with the protection of non-instantaneous area effects, um, just confuse everything in a 15-foot burst with a pretty good DC. Uh, crushing Despair, another cone thing, minus two penalty on attack rolls, saving throws, ability checks, skill checks, weapon damage rolls. This would be something that maybe I'd consider dropping just because it might be better to just shut down everybody rather than giving them penalties, but, you know. Uh, hold Person. We have an abundance of it. I really want to grab Hold Person Mass. I think that could be good. Uh, dominate Animal, of course. And Litany of Eloquence as a swift action. Um, not super high DC or anything, but if we can just smack somebody with it real easy, um, they just do nothing for a round. Um, it's not insanely good, but, you know, it's a swift action. Uh, and I actually have Quicken, so we have a swift action for Glitter Dust. This is now a much better spell for me because of the higher DC, so that's good. Well, it's a, it's still a conjuration spell, so it's not that much higher. But I think I did manage to get higher DCs. Uh, Hideous Laughter is a DC 29. So that's a pretty solid one as well. Um, hold Animal... Yeah. Yeah. So. That's that. Nothing else too insane going on. Full strength mass. It's always good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, should be fine. Uh, let's mount our animals. Are we in trouble yet? Okay. <laughs> uh, do you have anything you can help me with? No. Okay. Uh, perhaps the bartender. I'm looking for Zephorian. Do you know where he is? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. It's not my place to gossip with customers. I'm an innkeeper, not a spy. Got a special liquor you should try. A true rarity. 100,000 gold. Damn. Sephorian, eh? Hardly anyone remembers that name. He was an ambitious son of a bitch, sharp and tenacious. But he was hasty in his attempts to overthrow Nocticula. And our lady in shadow remembers all too well how she was underestimated by the demon lord Virax... Viriavaxis. So she dealt with Sephorian before he could stab her in the back. She ruined him completely. Seen him once or twice among the beggars. Sits at the threshold of the Battle Bliss Arena begging for gold. Okay. Yeah, the arena is going to be an exciting time. I'm surprised that it said there were three things I could do here. Doesn't seem like it. Um, I'm on. Yep. Great. All right. I mean, if you guys want to do it, we'll do it. Press the attack. 
Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted from me? Prepare yourself. You're pleased with your decision? Uh, I assume you can't use whole person on... No. Okay, that's what hold monster is for. I saw them. All right. Still, I had a 50-50 shot on Hideous Laughter, which is a level 2 spell. It's not bad. You won't survive me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I saw it. It was pretty good. The Inheritor, guide my blade. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice this thing. All right. That's fair. Which is not an option. Okay, his AC doesn't seem too high. Good will save, though. Sounds like a grease opportunity. I tried. Okay, are you just all right? Into the fray. Yeah, all right. Level drains always awesome. Forgot about the grease. Whoops. Damn. Failed to overcome the spell resistance. And he's still afraid. Now, this seems to be targeting me, even though the description said enemies. I guess we'll find out, because Regal's in there. Oh, no. You won't even cast it. All right. Fuck. We're so scarred. Man, it's a lot of level drain, dude. This thing refuses to cooperate. Kneel before me. Not afraid of you. This one's mine. I'll take care of it. All right, let's let's get back in order here. Don't lose your heads. Your orders, Commander. Little, little ridiculous. To be broken. Uh, okay, restoration on Taco B. Mert also lost four levels. I welcome your company. I guess. <laughs> Okay, that's all good. That's all good. That's all good. All right, we're all we're all okay. <clears throat> I mean, all these things are gonna sell for a nice amount. Robe of determination. Ooh. Tell me. Tell me of this robe. It gets dumped to the bottom. I don't know why that is. Oh, yeah, and I forgot my glasses. Whenever the wearer of this robe casts a spell, it forces the target to make a fortitude saving throw. The DC of that save is increased by two. 
also grants wearer plus two bonus on caster level checks made to overcome spell resistance, plus four bonus to concentration checks and spell resistance 18. God damn. Um, yeah, that's all uh, pretty good. That is very, that was for a random little encounter there. Yeah, that's good stuff. Definitely broke these front two. They're not doing anything anymore. Whoops. I'm gone. All right. Um. Where does this go? Oh. Uh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Come on. You got this. I finished. Yeah. Is there more? I finished here. Is there more? No, that's it. I'm glad I was useful to you. That's really cool. Oh, we're back at the flesh markets. Well, um, I think the only thing really left here to do is like kill the the big dude if that's something we wanted to do. We can give it a shot. It's gonna be messy. Oh, skip the pleasantries. Always be ready for the worst. A bright future. I'm just gonna I'm prepared. position myself a little bit better here. I'm all ears. I shall not be swayed from my path. Missed me already. We should move. And we could buff. good where I can and um, you want to cast this and you want to cast this and you want to cast this and you want to actually I don't know if you do anything smile the world's not uh, we have do we don't have bless okay do that I will prove and you want to cast uh, your mutagen and you want to cast hurricane bow <laughs> it's like kind of a questionable thing to things to do right in front of a bunch of slave traders a lizard and a human Please. enter a town um oh, the waiting for us fun <laughs> this and this. No reason to pause. You actually. What is this? Aura of greater courage. Immune to fear. That's probably pretty good. All right, let's do it. Meditate on your mistakes. Might make you feel better. Do not fear. Do not waver. All right. 
Sarzakis, 52 AC. It's pretty high. It's pretty damn high. Make every strike count. All right, we're getting some hits in. I will resist. Nice. Damn. Yeah, she probably has like the best chance to hit of any of my characters. Level drain sucks. Uh, Sila. Yeah. No glory without risk. Sila definitely does not have the best chance to hit. Yeah. Oh, God. All oh, this level drain. That's really bad. She's like level five right now. All right. We want to do uh, Aeon Bane. And then we want to do area effects. And then um, waves of ecstasy. Um, actually, how many? These aren't enemies. So let me actually back up a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I think we might be fucked. I didn't think it would be the entire market. is not an option yeah and we've suffered too much level drain now for this to even be close to possible hold on did i okay obviously that didn't work So I did hit everybody. Okay. Hold on. I want to just double check something. I because I definitely had the gaze effect on. I'm all right. So. Yeah, I have this active. Immunity to non-instant area effects from your and your allies and abilities. Hmm. Maybe this is not what I thought then. I think literally what that means then is stuff like Sirocco and Hungry Pit. Basically stuff that I think I think this is an instantaneous effect. It just doesn't have uh, uh, an area that remains behind. Okay, so in that case then selective spell is still really good for me. And I'll chuck that on confusion right away. And crushing despair. I think that's it. No glitter dust, maybe.
and color spray, I suppose. Okay. This one I would do, but it's my level seven, so if I put a selective on, I can't use it. All right, all right, all right. That makes me feel better, and I don't have to respec. And it makes the area effect thing not as good for me. But Sirocco is still a pretty nuts spell. So let me go in here. Meta magic. Um, what did I just say? Confusion. Selective. that okay there it is and uh, crushing despair I don't know I always just choose like the same exact template just so I know um, I know it's been modified okay so there you go those two are in then uh, glitter dust so, I think, yeah, just make that selective. Like so. And that's... Ah, uh, color spray, sure. I guess we could quicken it. It would become a level 5. And level 5 is actually kind of a crowded place for my spells. So I'd rather not. Okay, that can just go there. Uh, um, that can go there. And it's just a straight up upgrade to these spells with no downside. It's pretty nice. Alright, that's good. Okay, lesson learned on a lot of things. We are not capable of doing that fight yet. Um, let's see. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to find that, like, rooftop fight that that one woman in that brothel wanted me to do. Because it's a quest. And I think it said something in the journal... Come on. Uh. Here. Usual haunt is the rooftop of a nearby building. Stairs leading up there can be found to the left of the gate to the upper city. Is this not the gate to the upper city? Left facing what? Facing where? This place is very confusing. this shit up. Okay. You can find Zeriax northwest. Climb up the rooftop to reach him. Climb up the rooftop. Find him northwest. Oh, wait a minute. Where is the brothel? I don't think I'm even near it. place is confusing as shit. Okay, 
here's the brothel. I'm up. Well, wait a minute. Where is... Okay, here's north. We found north. So, northwest. Left of the gate. I don't know, man. No, 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 no. Left what? Man, I'm bad with directions. Okay, we need, we're looking for stairs. Keep that in mind. And it should be here. There he is. We found him. This is a portal down. Let me just look around for stairs. <laughs> Shit. Oh, here. God, it's... Oh, those aren't stairs. Those are stones on the side of a wall. He looks mean. So I'm not the first person more of it hired. Okay. So this isn't a trick. He's really just a piece of shit. Just a big piece of shit. I will resist. Yeah, she's really like one of my most reliable damage dealers. All right, reflex is the lowest, uh, but his fortitude's not brilliant either. So perhaps I should just try for. An ear piercing scream. It's probably immune. Oh, no, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. You know how it is. And there you go. Great. Love that shit. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Almost there. Retreat is not an option. There you go. Xeriax ring and a breastplate plus two. Massive, crudely made ring, definitely not sized for a human finger. Great. Great stuff. Well, we got him. I welcome your company. Uh, somebody took ability drain. Buy a horse. Oh, level drain on Mert. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, and ability drain. See, now that absolutely should remove that. I don't know why it doesn't, but it really means restoration spell works overtime. Because that's the only thing that works. Rules are and that costs diamond dust, although that's fairly easy to come by. Damn it! Still need a 14. Actually, if we're dismounted, we should be able to use an animals. Thanks, Lan. Yeah. So awesome, Lan. Oh, maybe Lan did it.
You done did it. And you rolled a 16. That was a tough check. Oh, and that just comes up here. Now it's a 44. Fuck that. Yeah. So even Spot would have to roll a 15. That's an insane check. But if I put that boots on Lan, he's pretty good. Okay. Um. Oh, the waiting's never fun. Hold on, let's mount up. Beginning to hate this city a little bit. Decide already. I mean, this is what you get, I guess, when you just take your horses and stuff everywhere you go. We do it my way. Uh, I had a character once, like a joke character. Named, I think, Mr. Underhill was his name. <laughs> and his, uh, his gimmick was that he had a horse and carriage. And he took it, he took it everywhere. <laughs> like, he never left the seat of his horse and carriage. Um, it's like just a pure joke one-shot character, but yeah, I mean, we had some, we had some fun with that. Obviously, you know, it's a little tricky getting a carriage and horses into a building. But, uh, yeah, good times. I finished here. Is there more? You no longer need to be afraid. Zeriax is dead. Oh, she wanted us to die because she thinks that's amusing. I don't tolerate lies, whore! <laughs> All right, we got 30,000 bucks and a bunch of XP. I mean, look, dude, you, you sent me to kill him. I killed him. You can't be angry with me. Uh-oh, saving error. I don't like to see a saving error on my screen. Oh, hey, do you want to mount up again because we get dismounted whenever we go into the brothel? Isn't that awesome? It's not just fantastic fucking shit. Together, we stand. Saving error. Well, that's not good. Hold on. I don't know why that would be. It's definitely not like I'm running out of hard drive space. Saving error. This is real bad if I can't save anymore. Uh... It's, okay, this is from 23 hours ago. And... Yep. It has to do with the latest patch. No, okay. Now, this is from two months ago. This was a multiple people complaining about it on the Switch. And now, after the latest patch, it happens on PC. And... It's specifically with the 10,000 Delights location. Fucking awesome. And once you get the error, you just can't save anymore. <sighs> Man, I mean, it's a niche problem. I'm sure they reported it. 
but for it to be there two months ago on the Switch and then now pop up on PC, it's pretty bad. Yep, okay. It is very specifically due to this location. And it's a very recent problem on PC from like a day ago. All right, well then we have to load our last quick save and we can't go into that location ever again. I mean, if the worst thing that comes of this is that I can't finish that quest, I'll accept that, but you know, we'll see. So now I should be able to, yeah, okay. All right, just don't go in there, I guess. Um, all right, I want to get to the arena. That's what we really want to do. So we want to get to the lower city. That's the rapture of rupture. This is a portal up. I think that's where I want to go. Because there was not much up here. Fuck. No, I don't want to go there. Alright. I think we're in the upper city right now. So I imagine we want to go to the middle city again. Probably take a gander at our map. city right there that's where we're going i probably can't get there because i have to orient the mm, yeah shit here no wait a minute don't do that i can't even get there okay uh here portal down uh shit Chest. I embarrass myself. You got this. I'm glad I was useful to you. Yeah, me too. Okay. Portal down. Then go down. No, don't. Come back here. Come come back here. Come back here. It's like hitching. Doesn't want doesn't want to get over here. Uh, okay, so now we're at the Asimar's house. And what am I where am I going? What am I doing? Together we stand. This was the longest way around possible. I could have just taken a portal to the fucking flesh markets and it would have been faster. Oh, 
Uh, the lower city is where we came in, isn't it? I don't know if that's necessarily where... We want to go. I guess we'll find out. Okay, there's a whole section over here. Oh, and there's Battle Bliss. Yes, yes, into the arena we go. Oh God, Valexi is here. Bloody Freak, a fierce, promising newcomer from Col Colafir, will fight Atselm oft killed. Atselm's a member of the Nehindrian League, the elite circle of gladiators here at the Battle Bliss, and has defeated hundreds of enemies. Of course, as her name suggests, she has also died in the arena more than once, but she always comes back from the dead. I'm gonna bet on the Bloody Freak. I didn't... Okay. Fierce battle unfolds in the arena. The Bloody Freak surges forward, launching into a brutal attack against Atselm. Atselm desperately tries to resist the onslaught, but the Bloody Freak is relentless. He strikes one furious blow after another, showing no signs of exhaustion or fatigue. People have different opinions about slavery and Galarian, but it is forbidden by the law in many places. Atselm is merely feigning weakness. She dodges at the last moment and strikes a resounding blow. Blood gushes from the demon's wound, and his growl of rage gives way to a howl of desperation. Nevertheless, even Galarians who are not enslaved are often forced to fight by those in authority. Yet they still charge into battle with as much zeal as those two gladiators down in the arena. So tell me, what gives them the motivation to fight? What do they hope to achieve? conscience and our nobility lead us into battle. There are many warriors in the Abyss who are eager to fight, but they lack both the strength of your resolve and the genuine faith you have in the rightness of your cause. It's not looking good for the bloody freak. We're gonna get like a fucking Gregor experience here. Oh! But every warrior will meet their death eventually. How do Galarians face the end of their life? Are they scared of death? Do they despise it? Or do they welcome it as a friend? There's no reason to be afraid of a worthy death. All hail the winner. Hail the bloody freak. Looks like you've just won our bet. Well, I'm not going to be a sore loser. Here is your reward as promised. She blows you a little kiss and bats her eyelashes at you playfully. 
Hepsimir rises from her place and announces loudly, I want this bloodthirsty fighter to be my servant. From now on, he is my slave, and anyone insolent enough to object will face my wrath. If you outbid Hepsimira for this gladiator, you'll wipe the smirk off her arrogant face. What a positively delightful idea. I can't resist. Ah, what you do to me, you've discovered my weakness. I dare to challenge the claim of the most esteemed Hepsimira. I am touched by this fighter's tenacity. He has found a way to my heart, and I wish to make him my bodyguard. If anyone dares to argue against my right to make such a claim, they can say it to my face. Oh boy, making enemies. I've enjoyed our time together here at the arena. However, I cannot resist the urge to appear with you somewhere in high society. I'm sure you wouldn't say no to attending a private reception with me at the harem of art and dreams. Shamira has prepared something special for her guests, and I would very much like for you to experience it with me. I shall wait for you at the harem of art and dreams. You really must come. Oh, and she gave us the coin for the battle bliss. Oh, no. For her... For her place. Okay, nice. Well, that was exciting. The fuck is this guy? Is like Nenio's husband or something? What is happening? It's just studying these people. Glances briefly at Arushle. I remember you. you. Used to fight here. I'm always demanded that I restore your skin to its original smooth, unblemished state. And you always tried to get a discount or ran away without pain. Well, it looks to me like you have an entirely new face. It's an almost perfect replica of your old one, but something has changed. Something imperceptible. I really have changed, Stitcher. You cannot begin to fathom the price I've had to pay for the transformation, but it happened without the help of a scalpel. Okay, he's very interested in land. For 30,000 gold, I'll stitch you up into something better. Much, much better. Please don't do that. By joining your flesh with the flesh of a creature from the abyss, you allow its corruption to taint you. Yeah, no deal. I don't know. I assume there isn't much here I care about. Dark Omen lets you cast Raven Fieldman Scare, Ray of Exhaustion, Fear, and Ways of Fatigue. Yeah, meh, yeah, yeah. Tired looking tiefling. Welcome to the Battle Bliss Arena. My name is Zeklex. I'm the arena steward. Ermangaleth is the master of the arena, but I help him manage its affairs. Did you come to spectate the fights or to participate in them? The arena is more accustomed to melee fighters than to spellcasters. Please don't take that as a sign of disrespect. Only a fool would underestimate the power of magic. But the audience loves a show. Athletic bodies, straining muscles, claws and blades carving up flesh. And although most of our gladiators do use some supernatural tricks, there are few pure spellcasters among them. Perhaps you are destined to reverse this trend. Ermangaleth. I remember a demon called Ermangaleth. He was a vile, cunning murderer. He had a way with words that was just as deadly as his skill in battle. I'm looking for one particular slave. I suspect he passed through the hands of a slaver wearing a black mask. You've come to the right place. Tell me more about the slave you're looking for. Mm -hmm. You're in luck. The gladiator you're looking for is still alive. He's even earned a place in the Hindrian League. We call him the Dire One. Okay. I can see the aura of your soul. You do not belong to this plane. This is the realm of chaos, and your heart and mind are strictly ordered, like a machine. 
You are very perceptive. You see more than most. Well, you're right. I do not belong to the Abyss, even though I was born here. I want to overthrow Ermangaleth and take his place. And I could use the help of someone as observant and knowledgeable as you. I want to overthrow Ermangaleth and take over the Battle Bliss. Killing Ermangaleth won't be easy. He's protected by Gelderfang, the current champion of the arena. He's only vulnerable when the champion fights in the arena, but that doesn't happen very often. After all, a fight for the champion title is a very rare and prestigious event. But I'll offer you a deal. You help me, and I'll help you. I'll arrange a fight between you and the champion. I won't be able to make it happen right away, of course, but I'll make sure you get your chance. Together, we'll vanquish our enemies. I'll take control of the arena, and you'll become the champion. You'll have the title and all the glory that goes with it. Do we have a deal? Sure. <laughs> and then I could fucking Aeon his ass. But maybe we do that afterwards. I want all of Illusionera to know my name. I want you to arrange a match for me against your strongest gladiator. Yeah, I know. I'll fight another newcomer. Horse. All right, let's give it a shot. Is it just me or is it like all of us? This fighter is a nobody from nowhere, but if she survives, you'll all worship the ground she walks on. Hakobi of Galarian. Let's see what Monica she earns for herself if she lives that long. And who will stand against her? Well, they may be small, but they're far from harmless. If you underestimate them, they'll bite your family jewels off. An outsized amount of spite wrapped up in a tiny, ugly package. It's Smug Mug's wild gang of methods. Ah, I see. Why are they back here? Why did we move forward? I don't know. Require my count. All right, I'm not even gonna pre-buff. Close ranks. I'm not worried about a bunch of fire methods. You crazy? Boom! That's what I think of that. Cross the wrong mark. Retreat is not an option. How did we surprise them? Into the fray! I don't know. Do I even need to cast anything here? No. Oh my god. I don't know. I could probably just walk up and smack him. Prepare yourself. Yeah, pretty simple fight, dude. Okay, that was pretty simple. Is this your idea of a joke? Were you trying to humiliate me? Why'd you put me up against such a ridiculous opponent? Fit Slayer. Ooh. What a brute. Please listen to me before you draw your weapon. This was an outrage, yes, but it wasn't my idea. This was done on Ermangaleth's orders. He came up with a brilliant idea to match you up against a method. He thought the crowds would find it funny. This will never happen again. Alright, I got the coin. I demand a proper fight. I have to do a favor. The Flare Twins are merely a stepping stone on your path to Gelderfang. It's your fight with him that worries me, but I've thought of something that might help you in your encounter with the champion. I need you to go to the flesh markets and buy a group of gladiator slaves. Now, when I say slaves, I don't mean seasoned veterans. I mean an assortment of rabble and riffraff.
How far will I have to go to complete this mission? I'll not become a slave trader. Does it violate your principles? Yeah, actually. I don't like being called the Mephit Slayer. Well, I'm ready to enter the arena. Far more... Oh, the opponent is more dangerous. Yeah, okay. I would hope so. To... De... De... Vakery or... I don't know. Uh, the duo, duo will make all twins terrifying. The Flare Twins. I don't know why it's weird like this and these guys stay back and these three go forward, but there you go. Missed me already. I'm just gonna bless. Alright. This will be Oh, they actually went first. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, if this were a fair fight it would never be bo it would have been boring, okay. All right, well, fine. Your stats are still pretty shit. Uh, let me throw this on and give you one of these. Boom. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's not good. That's not good for anybody. Endure this! Make every strike count! The light! Take you! Pretty high AC. Pretty damn high AC. Kneel before me. Fuck. Wasn't he like dazed? Alright. Um let's see. Yeah, I mean their fortitude saves really not great. So But I don't have much against fortitude to be honest. Like, really, the only thing I have is ear-piercing scream. Which is decent. Oh, wait, now I have Sirocco. Okay. Alright, we probably want to get out of that. Damn it, Darren. What the fuck are you doing? You've crossed the wrong mongrel. The inheritor, guide my blade. God. I don't know, maybe I should go for the other one instead, because it mine. I can just beat the shit out of it. Not sure. Well, now it's down. But I don't know why Sila went down. Does this have a certain... I guess it does have a certain range. I didn't even think of that. Okay, well, she should be immune now. I hope. I hope, I hope. Uh, but let's go ahead and use relativity. Make your peace. Um, we're already prayered up. Okay, hold on. Let me get in there a little bit more and do a burst of glory. Go. There you go. In your memory, I will wear your face as a mask. And 
I think the guy is saying something, but it's off screen. Oh, there you go. The Flare Twins are a duo no longer. It's time to think of a new nickname. Into the fray! Yeah, again, okay, so they actually have to be in the area of effect when I cast it. And it lasts until the end of combat. Okay, so I can't give it to her now. Oh, I did give it to her now, but I didn't give it to Mert. I did. I don't know. I think it's just a little fucky because, yeah, generally, I guess you want to give it to everybody when you give it to everybody. Uh, I will resist. There you go. Victory belongs to the Mephit Slayer. Good thing I looted that. Ah, combat's over. Rules speak me your actions. No reason to pause. All right, we're continuing to learn our lessons. Uh, let's see, what did we get? Toxic Wrap, grants a wearer immunity to acid, makes enemies sicken for 1d3 rounds upon landing a sneak attack unless they pass a fortitude saving throw. Uh, I, does Lan have sneak attacks? Or probably not. Um, I don't think he does. No. So I don't think I have a character that has sneak attacks. Greyboard did, but yeah. Uh, all round defense. Whenever the wearer of this ring is 10 feet from the companion who wears the same ring, they both gain the effect of back to back feet. Well, that would be one of these two people. I could see you taking one, and then. I could probably see you taking one. And. Didn't I get another plus three ring? Yes. There you go. Um, and bracers of armor plus three. No. I don't think... No. I only have one character now. It doesn't wear armor. Okay, uh, and then we got the Armor of Vigilant Sprouts. Whenever the wearer of this plus four pad armor is hit by a sneak attack or an attack of opportunity, the attacker must pass a reflex save or become entangled for three rounds. Well, that's not very good, but it is a light armor. So, I guess you could wear that, although the other one had damage reduction three. Why are you not even wearing armor? I think that's a very good question right now. Why are you not wearing armor? Or bracers. I guess we don't have bracers, but we have armor. Um, he can wear up to heavy, I think, or maybe medium. Still think Chainmail of Camaraderie is pretty good. I would give him a 28 AC and the flanking bonus. Uh, medium is probably where he wants to be. Yeah, max dex bonus of four is perfectly good. I think that's a good fit for him.
maybe throw on the Bane of Flesh instead. Yeah, okay. I don't think Boots of Stampede is ever going to be that great, so just put those on. All right, uh, that was good. He doesn't bother with regular wounds. What the fuck? Oh, skip the pleasant freeze. Oh, shit ass. All right, that was a little bit tougher. Ermangaleth Mer considers you a threat. He thinks you're too dangerous and is eager to be rid of you. But please don't confront him just yet. Don't let him know that you've discovered his true intentions. I want to give a gift to the current champion. I'd like to send him the most beautiful succubi from the 10,000 Delights. But I can't go in there, so <laughs> I can't go in there. Uh, if you want to buy horse for Gelderfang's amusement, do it yourself. Oh God, Soroko's still there. Is Taco be the Mephit Slayer? An Indian League probably presents its fighter you all know her, you obsess over, and you all fear her. We've enjoyed her hundreds of victories in the arena, and three times we've enjoyed her defeat and painful death. But every time she's come back from the dead, an artist of suffering at Selm thrice killed. Winner of this fight will be granted membership in the Nahindrian League and the other will die. Or in the case of Atselm, not die. Alright, well, um We should move. First thing I need to dismiss. Okay, it's gone. Good. Alright. Well, I like that they give us the time and opportunity to pre-buff. Prove my worth. Um, Doubt is the heart's greatest. And decide. Can open with rap scallion. I will help where I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm your company. I think we're still buffed with that, but we can buff with. Should we proceed? Uh, get in, get in here. Oh, the waiting's now. Blurst of, blurst of glory, and uh, bull's strength. Oh, I don't know. I'm just assuming it's going to be rough. Better to be safe than sorry. All right. Um, and yeah, we'll summon. Are we in trouble yet? Meditate on your mistakes. You might make it. Does this have to be targeted on something, or am I? He never seems to use it. I don't know. Fuck it. Endure this. <laughs> All right, I don't think we need much AOE shit. She's not immune to anything. Her will save is pretty high. So I think uh, we're better off draining down her will or her saves with uh, this. Very nice. And then probably hit her with the hardest, highest thing I can, uh, which would be this. She 
actually failed. So, um... She's... Daggered for a minute and a half. No full round actions for her, and she's stunned for this whole round. Well, that's pretty good. Huh? Unfortunately, I can't hit, hit her with the uh, destruction because Darren sucks. So, I don't know. Um, greater magic weapon on Arushale? I can't even get to her. Oh, well. Prepare yourself! I think she's pretty fucked, I'm gonna be honest. Take you. <laughs> Getting off a stun on a single target battle is just... Oh my god. She didn't even get a turn! <laughs> Nahindrian League's fighter is down. The fearsome Atselm has fallen. Long live the newest member of the Nahindrian League. Behold, the newest member of the Nahindrian League. She's invincible, bloodthirsty, violent, and cunning. It's Taco B, the Mephit Slayer. Glory and death. Collared. Where was the warning for that? We have multiple people we know that are familiar with this process. I've let you down, champion. That fiend has taken you captive, and I was unable to stop him. I could not perceive his motives through the veil of insanity that shrouds his damaged mind. I knew we were in the abyss, a place where you can't even trust your own shadow, but I failed to be vigilant. Are you out of your mind, you fat pee pile of shit? <laughs> Please accept this small gift with my compliments. It will guarantee your safety. This collar will make sure you do not leave the battle bliss. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure my lawful response here is really going to sway him. I see. Where are my companions? It won't work. I'll find a way to get free. This collar reminds me of the seal we broke back in Dresden. If I try to break it here, its powers will be unleashed, and the collar will likely kill you. I don't want to take that risk, at least not right now. Let's only consider that option as a last resort. For now, you should try to stay calm, be vigilant, and look for opportunities to escape. I'm certain you'll find a way to get free. You really think the Mephit Slayer is an amusing title? He nearly chokes with laughter. No, you stupid lard bucket. It isn't funny at all. I think you've gone completely insane. I'm not going to tell him about Zeklex. I think we're done here. I'm guilty. I should have warned you. I've acted dishonorably and I feel awful. Did you know that I was walking into a trap? I didn't know for sure, but I did have my suspicions. Sure. Before you fight Gelderfang, I'd like to have a word with you in private. While you were unconscious, Ermangaleth and a demon called Mutasafen performed some kind of surgery on Gelderfang. 
It sounded like he was dying. His screams were like nothing I've ever heard. However, when he finally emerged from surgery, Gelderfang looked stronger and more powerful than ever. I suspect that the champion finally got those Nahindrian crystals he wanted. Of course, I've heard the rumors about those crystals. Yeah, shit. It's not very good. We, uh... We didn't want to buy slaves. And then we didn't want to, uh, go into this bugged location. I would have gone into the bugged location if it wasn't bugged. <sighs> I killed Mutasifin. Yeah, people are hard to kill around here. Is there anything I should know about my fight with the champion? The fight will not be fair. As you already know, Ermangaleth doesn't believe in a level playing field. He'll send in some weak fighters just to whet the audience's appetite. Then you'll have to face more experienced gladiators. Hmm. Uh, Alright, Battle Bliss will be ours. Okay, you can hire some assassins to attack Gelderfang in the arena. That could be good. I could use some help. Oh, this is a solo fight? Oh, God. I mean... Maybe. Maybe. If I can get them stunned and consistently controlled and we have some allies to do some melee damage. Oh, nope. I have my, all my companions. Then we're fine. All right, we're fine. Hmm? No problems here. Tell me, and I'll do it. Rely on me. Um, we're still fairly buffed. I'll take care of it. I don't want to go Bye. overboard. I don't know how many fights I'm gonna have to go through. So you know, just do the use. Um. you lose okay I guess it's I guess it's been a little while yeah it's fine win this war it's all good battle nation Desna guide my hand <laughs> my god should I just toss down a Sirocco here Hold on, let me... I'm hoping that this is not going to count as, like, separate combats, but I think it will. Oh, it's fire damage and they're all immune, of course. Alright, well... My blade. Retreat is not an option! Make every strike count. Make your... Ah! So good. It's all good. Okay. Yes, so it did count as a separate battle. That's what I was waiting for. Ah, okay. Of my abilities. I will resist. Yeah, fucking mirror image. Really annoying. All right, so if I go in there, uh, uh, without risk. I'm gonna get fucked. Cause I don't have that buff, so I'm better off delaying. Delay. And then. Yep. Area of effects. And I don't know. Hideous laughter. 
Perfect. Yeah, keep laughing, asshole. Kneel before me. You've crossed the wrong mountain. Good, good, good. I don't know, Darren, man. I don't know. Prepare yourself. This damn mirror image. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Oh god, we gotta fight Atselm and Ruxa. No, I am your judge. Oh, and he walked up into it. Your execution. Okay. Visibility, huh? Um, yeah, that's pretty annoying until that gets dispelled, so I think I'd rather go and punch this dude. Okay. Uh, let's just dispel. Target. Failed to dispel it. Desna, guide my hand. Come on. Say yeah. Okay. She gets a lot of ops. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. The light. Thank you. But we took care of that bastard. You won't survive me. All right. Um, I could revive, but negative fifty-seven. That's not getting revived. So. Regal's been paralyzed. And oh my god. All right. Should I try again, or should I do some, like, constricting coils? Nope. Fail. Oh, God. What are you doing, man? Jesus. Well, this is why you have removed fear, I guess. Destruction. Yeah, unlikely to happen. Come on, she's stunned. Fuck. Oh, that would have been so good. You're still gonna be afraid, aren't you? Endure this. Yep. Oh, there goes our stun. You guys are falling apart, man. Still afraid. I know you're still afraid. Fuck you. So shit. Damn, man. Don't cast lightning bolt. I can't believe we're having this much trouble. Shiny, 
all because of a fear effect. I mean, it's... I really should just remove paralysis from Regal. But, oh my god. Okay, and then he just hit the deck. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. I need to just dismount. Because it's like it's not my time. It's not land that's afraid. This really could not have gone worse. Yeah. That is such an insane debilitation. This paralysis has lasted like an hour. Oh my god. I've survived worse. <laughs> Retreat is not an option. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Magic missile? God, there's just... Okay. You won't survive me. At least she's going after the little summons, but... Yeah, she is terrifying in every sense of the word. The inheritor, guide my blade. I can't, I can't kill her. I can't kill her. Fuck. Oh, you would need to crit. What is this? Just insane. This isn't even the boss. Without risk. What the fuck? Wow, I actually she rolled a one on that. That works. There we go. Oh my god. And now we fight Gelderfang. Oh god, he's already got a 47 AC. I'll be right back. Okay. Um two hours later so we've got Gelderfang he doesn't look that bad <laughs> um I don't know like if he's gonna just bust out some insane buffs he does have a lot of traits here Point is, we need to heal as quickly as we can. Your orders. Regal, get on your mount. Uh. Always be ready for the worst. Doubt is the heart's greatest. Okay. Land, get on your mount. Uh. Sila. A bright future awaits. Get on your mount. Darren, heal. Oh, we don't have too many of those left. Shit. 
Sela's gonna have to use hers. Okay, that's better. Meditate on your mistakes. It might make you feel better. Um. Yeah, buffs, buffs a plenty. Uh, Regal can use that. Are we in trouble? I will help where I can. I don't know. I'm just expecting the worst, is all. Prepared. Wise. Um, the pleasantries. Burst of glory on us. Do true scene communal just in case. Um, oh, um, fucking, yeah, bull strength mass. Fingers crossed. Into the front. Do not be. Do not waver. Okay, fifty-five. This fort actually didn't go up that much. So theoretically, theoretically, that's doable. Pretty rough start for Taco B. Absolutely. Make your peace. Ugh. Okay. Could be worse. Kneel before me. Oh yeah, that's the worst part. Not great. Not great at all. Endure this. Yeah, this is why he eliminated Taco B instantly. Because now we've got an issue. The light take you. Huh? Um, breath of life. What He's just gonna kill her again, unfortunately. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, that helps. This is gonna suck. And now I have very little opportunity to do much. Does he have true scene or see invisible? Um, he's got danger sense. I don't really see him seeing invisible. He's got blind fight, but that's not the same thing. I don't think he could see through invisible, so... It's probably good. Oh, it's a free action, so fuck it. And do that. Um, let's go for save DCs. He succeeded. Great. All right, so fortitude. Um, we have very few options for fortitude. What is he immune to? Run. Difficult terrain, nauseated, sickened, and poison. I still feel like this is a poison effect. I mean, that's the only explanation I could see of why some things are just immune to vine trap. So I guess we're gonna go for constricting coils. Although his will save is pretty damn good. But a will save of 34 versus 
I'd say a four save of 22. Um, you know, not too many options here. So, yeah. I saw that. Uh, okay, we've got a 25% chance of that working, but unfortunately, I will. likely just gonna die each time. This one's mine! I mean, we're throwing a lot of attacks, so, you know, eventually you might. I guess I could set a quarry, but I don't know if it really matters. I don't even know if a plus two matters here. Any control on Darren. The only thing I have is glitter dust, but that's gonna be right in the middle of it. Nothing else I'd work on him would really do anything, so I don't know. I think I probably just delay until after he goes and then patch up. Did he just do some, like, massive AoE? He did. He did a whirlwind. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He did a total of 270 damage to fucking Taco B. And not to mention all the rest of the damage. I think we lost this fight the second Taco B went down. And I think he, he like knew it. I needed to position her way further back. I'm tempted to reload the save because this is not going to go well. You've crossed the wrong monster. <laughs> I mean, we're hitting him a little bit, but not nearly as much as we need. Whereas if I got one sort of paralysis on him, it would be all good. Negative 208. There you go, Taco B. You're at negative 157 now. Desna, guide my head. Oh, oh. Wow, she really did a lot of fucking damage. Is not enough. Is Arushale my best damage dealer? Yeah. Hey, 36 damage, that's not bad. No glory without risk. All right, we might actually have this still. We're all in pretty good condition. Um, I guess I'll just heal Mert. It really isn't too bad, except for the fact Taco B just got annihilated. Make your peace. So there you go, Arushale. Hot damn. Oh, what the fuck? Zeklex has Ermanga left by the throat. The injured Cambion is on his knees and blood seeps from his wounds. We won. Now we just need to finish him off. I'll let you do the honors. Yeah. All right, I mean, I guess I'll kill him. 
There will be no more dirty fights, no more sham rivals, and no more dull shows. The fights will become unpredictable, opponents will be evenly matched, and the thrill battle will have you on the edge of your seats. Gelderfang Slayer. Their life ends here. Who am I fighting? Why am I fighting three Meroliths? Oh, and Taco be time. Great. What the fuck? I don't know if I want my title to just be referencing the previous champion. That seems quite lame. All right, so obviously... I don't want Taco be anywhere near the front of the battle. She does not need to be anywhere near the front of the battle. You require my counsel. Oh, shit. Sound of Void, Music of Death, Belt of Incredible Dexterity Plus 4. Okay, not too shabby. Skip the pleasantries. That's more what I'm looking for. Retreat is not an option. Trouble yet? I shall not be swayed from my path. All right, now if he can get to Taco B amidst all this stuff, then good for him. Yeah, I wouldn't really expect you to do that. Um, should I just delay? I'll delay. Hakobi gets to go first. Um, so we want this. I want to be able to do this, but I have to get somewhat close, and I don't know how comfortable I feel with that. So let's just throw out a constricting coil and just see what happens. Okay, so not too hot. That's a very low chance. I get 15% chance. From the sound of it, we're kind of banking on Arushale to, to do the pain. You've crossed the wrong mantra. He went for a summon. Well, that's why we do what we do. All right, I'm going to challenge him. I'm going to do one of these. And uh, that's that. Darren, um, prayer. I will resist. Not, oh God, 102 damage straight up. Okay, now go for save DC. Yeah, I mean, it'd be awesome if that hit, but it's not the end of the world. Um, now I have this as a swift action. It'd be cool. Ah, oh, so close. Damn. All right. And constricting coils again. Okay, a lot better chance now. This one's mine. Okay, 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 okay. A little better. You won't survive me. A little bit of damage in there. Ooh. Ooh, okay. He got a lot more vicious real quick. Into the frame. Okay, they're actually going to participate this time. All right. Um, probably just heal Regal, just to have another body in the fight. Rushale can just keep firing. Oh, 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 that's so good. All right, come on. Come on, just once. Let it happen. Yes! All right, we got it. We got this in the bag. Take an extra attack. Press the attack! 
Oh, oh, that's all we needed. I told you, that's all we needed. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Alright, I don't know where those Meriliths came last time. I don't know what the fuck was up with that, but damn it, we did it again. So we're all good. Helm of Fearless Vanguard. Blinding Wrath. Some nice little pickups there. Okay, so the Punching Daggers. I don't think Lan would really want them. You know, they're, they're daggers. It seems like not the best choice for a big burly, big burly man. Um, bot, your belt is plus six con, plus two four. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anyone needs a plus four dex belt. We don't have that many dex characters. And I already have those. Uh, okay. The helmet. Whenever the wearer of this helmet receives healing, she also gains five temporary hit points for a round. I mean, if you had gotten this at, like, level three, I'd say, wow, that's pretty nice. At this point, though, five temporary hit points... That's nothing. Binding Wrath, Great Axe. Oh, okay. It's a two-hander. Oh, God. Whenever you crit, you deal damage to all creatures in melee range, including the wielder and their allies. Yeah, that's questionable. And it does 2d6 against all lawful creatures. Uh, yeah, this is going to be sold. Plus four breastplate, plus four to strength and con. Um, that's pretty much just an upgrade for land, I suppose. Um, yeah, so we'll give that to land. And then another ring of protection plus three for land. And that's all she wrote. Nice! We are the champions. Champions of the arena. Now time for a well-deserved rest. Or do we also we probably also get a reward? Tell me, champion, do you enjoy the attention? Are you basking in your newfound glory? I had to respect their customs. Yeah, lives were lost, but they were all kind of shitty lives. So, you know. Okay, he's not going to give me any reward. Uh, mm, I don't want to get into a tussle yet. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, dude. Don't go anywhere. How could you let them capture you? Hmm. Well, as you can see, I'm not omnipotent. I can be tricked. But who emerged victorious in the end, I ask you? It seems I've developed some kind of addiction to your presence. Oh yeah, I had another date with him and we boned. <laughs> Just in case you're really curious. I mean, obviously, you know, they don't show anything you know, they skip over the whole the boning but yeah he's grown pretty attached to me um and you know he's like i say he's an interesting character this just cosmic abomination lurking inside of him 
Sava Malek is here in Alushan era. How do you know? I feel it. You know, it's like a scent. Where should we look for him? If you put me on the scent, I'll lead you to him like a hound. All right, we'll find his lair together. Uh, do I have to bring Wenduang? Dare. You waste too much effort on those who are unworthy. How would I know who is worthy and who isn't? I just help whoever I can. There you go. Yeah, I feel like we're missing a lot of fun dialogue between Regal and Ember. You got anything? No? Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to end the video because, uh, you know, it's long. It's, this has been a long one. But I just want to go back and tell this guy that uh, he's breaking the laws and he will be held justice. I don't assume there's going to be a fight. I assume he'll just be like, yeah, you're a funny guy. Um, God damn this camera shit yeah we all have like wisdom damage but I don't think you know there's no time limit so I wish it would cast restoration automatically to remove that while I rest All right. Your belief in fairness violates the laws of the abyss. There is an authority in Illusionera fit to try you for this transgression. You want me to put on put me on trial for being too law-abiding? That's a first. I doubt that anyone around here would agree to waste their time with a trial. There are much faster ways to resolve a disputes in the abyss. So what if I go in the arena again? Oh God! There's another fight. Oh God! A Baylor. I really, I really need to end the video. But at the same time, there's a Baylor right in front of me, and I'm not gonna pass up that opportunity. So, together, you know, let me just buff myself real quick. Yep, okay, and do one of these, and, you know, I'm not going to go too crazy here, but just a few little buffs that we can just apply real quick. Uh, I really should put haste on my bar. All right, just go get him. It's one Baylor, you know. Desna, guide my hand. Yeah, he's... Gonna look at that. He's already at half health. It's no problem. Oh my god, why did I buff so much? Make every strike count. So, is that just like if I want to get a bunch of XP? 2500 XP? I don't think that's a lot. Well, honestly. Well, I leveled up, but I don't know if that was from this fight or not. Probably not. Although I think I would have noticed, so maybe I did just level up from that. I'll do all that off camera. That's too much. Uh, but I guess if you just want to, like, test out a new build real quick against, like, a, you know, not a super easy fight, but a fairly easy fight just to try some stuff. That's pretty nice. I like that. I'm gone. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. My name is Meng. Game watching has been... Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. And I'll see you fine folks in the next part.